Hi everyone, welcome back. In next couple of lectures, we are going to implement update employee feature in a React application. So in this lecture, we are going to add update button, title and route. So if you can see the screenshot over here, we are going to add the update button like this. And whenever user want to update the employee, then user can go ahead and click on update button. So this will navigate to the update page. And from there, user can update the employee. All right. So in this project, we are going to use the employee component to perform both the operations like add employee and update employee. All right. So instead of creating a separate component for update operation, we can use a single employee component to perform both add employee and update employee operations. All right. So here are the development steps. First, we're going to add update button to the list employees page. For example, we're going to add the update button to list employees page like this. Next, we'll add a route for update employee in the app component. Change page title dynamically. Well, we're going to use employee component to perform both add and update operations. So dynamically, we have to change the page title. For example, if you look at here, the add employee page. So in case of add employee operation, the page title should be add employee. And in case of update employee operation, the page title should be update employee, right? So we're going to change this page title, you know, dynamically based on the operation. Next, we're going to test all these changes. Okay. The first step is add update button to the list employees page. So let us go to our project in VS code and go to list employee component and go to table and go to table heading and go to table row here. And here, let us add one more column. So let us call it as actions. So within the actions column, we can we can add the buttons like delete, update. All right. Next, correspond to these actions columns. We are going to add the button. So go to table body, go to table row, and here let us add TD element. Within a TD element, let us add the button. So here just type button, and let us give button name as update. Next, let us add bootstrap CSS classes to this button. So here, let us use class name property and let us give bootstrap CSS classes like button, button, info. Next, whenever user click on this update button, then we have to handle the on click event. Isn't it? For that, let us have on click event handler. And then here we need to pass the handler function name so if you can notice here we need to pass the employee id to the handler function so for that let us use the arrow function over here so this is the arrow function and let us give the function name something like update employee and then we need to pass the employee id so here employee dot id so here we have employee object so we can get the id from the employee object like this okay perfect now we have added a button and we have passed the handler you know function to this on click event next if you go back to browser and if you go to employees page over here you can see update button is added in the actions column so whenever user click on this update button then user should have to navigate to the update employee page for that we need to configure the route well if you look at the development steps Second step is add a route for update employee in an app component. So let us configure the route. So let's go to VS code and go to app.jsx file. And here, let me write the comment first. So whenever user click on this link, like localhost 3000, edit hyphen employee slash employee ID, then user should have to navigate to the employee component. So here, just create the route and then path and then the URL edit employee and we need to pass the employee ID dynamically for that here is the syntax colon ID and next let us use element property to configure the you know component so within our curly braces just pass the component that is employee component just close it okay so whenever user 
hit this link in the browser then user should navigate to the employee component all right perfect next let us go to list employee component over here and in previous step we have added update button right so whenever user click on this update button then we have to handle this on click you know event handler so here we have written the handler name but we haven't implemented this handler so here let's create the javascript function function let us give the function name as update employee and it takes id as a parameter next whenever user click on this update button user have to navigate to the update employee page right so here let us use use navigate hook to navigate user to the update employee page so here let us call navigator navigator is nothing but use navigate hook next we need to pass the url that is edit employee and we need to pass the employee id in the url so here is the syntax backtick symbol and then slash edit employee slash and then we need to pass the employee dynamically so here is the syntax dollar within curly braces just pass the id okay so make sure that you you know add the backtick symbol not the single quote like this okay so just enclose this url in a backtick symbols not in a single quote all right perfect next let us take a look into next step next step is change page title dynamically well this employee component supports both the operations like add employee update employee so let us change the page title dynamically based on the employee id so let us go back to employee component and here let us write one javascript function so just type function and let us give function name as page title so notice here within this function we have to write the logic like if employee id is present in the url then we need to return the page title as update employee or else add employee all right so let us get the employee id from the url by using use params hook so here go at the top and here let us import the use params hook from react router dom so here use params hook from react router dom library so this use params hooks is a javascript function so here just call use params hook and this hook returns object with key value pair and we just want key so here const and then just add a destructuring and then pass id okay now we got the id by using use params hook next let us use this id in a page title method so go to page title method within that let's add a if condition and if id is present then we need to simply return the page title as update employee so here we have page title so let us copy this and go to page title method and just return update employee in a else part return page title as a add employee perfect next go to this s2 element over here just remove this and we need to dynamically add the page title so let us write the javascript code so within a curly braces just call this page title method all right so let us remove this semicolon okay perfect now we have added the page title dynamically based on the employee id okay perfect next let us go to the development steps the final step is test all the changes so let us go back to our project and let us see our project is up and running or not well our project is up and running in a development server next let us go to browser and let us test all these changes so go to react application in the browser and go ahead and click on this update button and there we go the user is successfully navigated to update employee page and you can see the url edit employee slash 2 so 2 is nothing but the employee id it means we have successfully added update button in a list of employees table and we have added route to this update employee page and we have also updated the page title dynamically based on the employee id all right good in next lecture what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our react application to get employee rest api well if you look at the update form so we have to populate this update employee form with the data so that user can go ahead and update the employee details isn't it 
So in order to populate this employee, you know, form, we have to connect our React application to get employee REST API and we'll get the response and we'll populate this form. Alright, later I will see you in the next lecture.